Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So as you can see in front of me, I have a big pile of items from the brand new creative range from Kiki K. Um, so I'm going to walk you through everything I bought, um, explain why I got it, and just generally sort of show you everything. So I'm just going to move this off to the side and start. I'll start with the inspiration kit. Um, so I mentioned earlier this year that I was only going to buy things this year that I was going to use. These are all items that there's no way I'm not going to use. So hold on, I'll, we'll come back to the inspiration kit. So I've got the inspiration kit, I've got the planner dashboard kit, I've got both sizes of the note paper. So you've got the big one and the B5 one. I then have the tab adhesive notes pack, which I wasn't going to buy and I'll explain why in a minute why I did. Um, the paper makers book, which is different from the paper lovers book, I'll show you in a sec, and the sticker book. So that was everything I got. I'm quite comfortable knowing I will use all of those ones, except maybe the tabs, but I'll explain why I got them in a second. So the inspiration kit, as per usual, comes with the 10, um, 10 things to go on your vision board. So you've got one here that's a circle that says, starts. it starts with an idea, think differently, Imagination is the beginning of creation. I love these shapes, they're awesome. It always seems impossible until it's done. Do something new, make space to create. Take risks, make mistakes and learn always. We are all creative, stay curious and creativity takes courage. I love the colors in this range. I think they're gorgeous and it's silver. Now that's something that I will point out right now. I, I'm not going to buy any of the planners. They are absolutely spectacular. Um, and they do come in this navy blue and this sort of red colour, but I was thinking that it was would be more of the red of the limited edition planners that came out last year, and it's not. It's almost a corally red, which is different to this kind of red. And they do have silver writing on the front, but they've got silver hardware to match. So if you remember back to the rose gold, I got really annoyed that the inside rings were gold. I thought that really clashed badly. Um, but I was really, really excited that when I opened up the, the planners in this collection, the hardware in there was silver. So that's absolutely fantastic. They are gorgeous. Like if you can see the back of this one, the inside of them is absolutely spectacular. And the font through all of this actually is really, really pretty as well. So this is the planner dashboard kit. Lines of the opinion, I no longer need these. I disagree. I think they're absolutely spectacular and I always love them. So you get a ruler as per normal, you get a pocket as per normal, you get two rolls of washi tape. I love that navy blue. I cannot wait to use that. Um, and you also get two heart paper clips. You then get two flippers, one that says stay curious, one that says think differently. And then you get two pages of stickers. Oh, those look nice. I like those two pages of stickers, you get a dashboard, and you get your Ziploc planner pocket. I'm not sure I like that pink. Uh-oh. Oh no, it broke. Oh, that's not good. I'll take it back tomorrow. Sammy will fix it. Sammy's the manager at my local store, and she's just spectacular. I love her. Hi, Sammy, if you're watching. She does watch occasionally. Uh, so we'll move on to the adhesive notes. Sammy actually talked me into these. I love the fact that they've got tabs on them. I think this is absolutely a brilliant idea. My biggest problem with sticky notes and why I think I don't use them as much as I should is because I kind of lose them in my planner. I love that these have got the little tabs so they will stick out. So you've got one that says today, one that says tomorrow, one that says notes and one that says love. That is gorgeous. I love that. I'll show you them all, sorry. The notes, the tomorrow, and the today. I love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to use them. I think I might use this collection a lot. I think it just might end up getting used lots. So we'll move on to the sticker book. You guys know I always go for the sticker books. I love them. Oh, smells like plastic in here now. So they all have the this beautiful silver with the, the red and the blues. It's just so gorgeous. Creativity is the way I share my soul with the world. That's gorgeous. This page doesn't have any of the silver. This one does though. Oh my goodness. They're beautiful. Oh, I thought that was really, really blue, but it's not. It's just the reflection of my light. 
creativity is an act of defiance. I like that. These are really, really, really nice. I love these. They kind of remind me of the Christmas collection. So more there with just the non-gilded. Then you've got some labels. Oh good, they've gone back to borders and corners. And these are going to be just the right size to put on the bottom of my planner page, I think. I won't test them, but I think they will. And then we've got some tags here. And they're not normal tags either. They're different shapes. So you've got some round ones, some smaller round ones, um, some side arrows, some normal size tags, but I love that one. Oh, so pretty. Good job, Kiki K. That's a good sticker book. I'm coming, I'm leaving the paper book till last because I'm very intrigued by it. So I've got the two size planners here. We've got the B5 and the B6. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a note paper hoarder, so I will always get the note paper. So we'll start off with the B6. So I have no idea if these are going to be the same, just different sizes or if they're different colours, not quite sure. So I'm just going to flick through them. You get 20, 20 designs as per normal. Oh, I like that. I can see myself using that. I've got some spots. That blue is pretty. Trust yourself. I love this font. I want to know what the font is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't get over how beautiful those blues are. All ideas are worthy. Oh. Loving this collection. Probably a little too much. That would look really cool actually if you made that into stripes on your planner but went had both colours. I'm getting ideas. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. <laughs> very, very cool. That one's really nice too. I can see, because there's so many different colours in this collection, I can see using it in so many different ways. You can obviously use the colours all together. Or you can use just the blues or just the reds or just the pinks. So good. Oh. Still going. Goodness me. There we go. Now they're back to the start. So that is the B6 one. Loving. Now let's open the B5 one and see if it's the same. I think it is. I'm looking at the back here and I'm, I'm thinking they're the same, just they're different sizes, which I actually really like because it gives me the ability to be able to play with it a bit more. Sometimes the B5 is a little, B6 is a little too small. Go. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same. Just to kind of do an example. Yeah, they're exactly the same, just Oh no, maybe not. I think they're basically the same, they're just in a different order. But they're absolutely gorgeous. Like that colour's so nice. I'm just gonna flip through these a little bit faster so that because they are pretty similar, but I love that colour. Oh I can't get over how good that navy is. So I think that's it. No, it's still going. There we go. Now we're back at the start. So they are basically the same. If you're not like me and you're not crazy and you want to get one or the other, I'd probably say get the bigger one. Price difference is $5. Size difference is a lot. If you get paper cutters regret like I do and, and you like to really kind of tear the crap out of your note paper, you're going to get more bang for your buck out of the big one. So I would suggest the big one if you're doing one or the other. This is the last one. This is the Paper Makers book, which is a new, a new or paper craft book. Obviously, this is the creative range, so they're trying to push the creative stuff a little bit more. I'm very interested in this. I don't like that it's so small. I would really have liked them to make a full-size paper lovers book with this, but let's go through and see what we get in this one. So it says, unleash your creativity and have fun creating these simple and inspiring paper craft projects. From bookmarks to gift boxes and hanging mobiles, say hello to the creative in you with this beautiful book of DIY love. So the first thing in here is a paper flower. I think Kiki K did a downloadable of this last year, but I can't remember. But very similar colours. That was in the um, in the the Write Your Own Tomorrow range. It was in that beautiful red colour. 
And we've got some DIY paper tassels. I'm actually really excited to make some of these. Let me know which ones of these you want me to make and I will do that for you. So we've got some cup cupcake toppers. We saw these in the paper lover, the foodies paper lovers book, and I think I've made them before. Um, I'll link that video down below if I can find it. We've then got some pattern paper here. This is all slightly thicker than the note paper that comes out, so I guess they're sort of more for crafty bits. That is absolutely spectacular. So some more pattern paper. We've got some alphabet stickers here in this beautiful silver. Wish they brought numbers. I don't. I don't know why I'm so enamoured with needing numbers. Got some stickers here and a gift box, and then we've got some quote cards here. Very similar to the ones that comes in the inspiration kit. Got a paper mobile or mobile, however you say that word, and some paper bookmarks, which I think would look really cool with those tassels. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think, I'm pretty sure that was 14, no it was 19.95 for the extra 10 bucks I would have really liked you to do a full size paper lovers book. Just cause, like this pattern paper is too thick, like you can't use that, that's not pattern paper, that's pattern cardboard and it's, you can't use that in your planner. I was really excited by this and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit let down. The last thing I got was the study adhesive notes. If you saw my video on the monthly printable, which I'll link down below, you'll know these are the free gift. Just have to spend something in store or online and you get these for free. I'm actually really excited to have those because I can actually use them to bring some of that craft paper into my escape kind of ranges. But anyway, that is everything that I got. I do like the planners in this collection, but I am not going to get them at this point. Um, that may change, but at this point I'm not getting any more planners I have enough um, I love the colors I, I cannot get over how much I'm adoring these colors especially that navy blue I'm drawn to blue anyway but I just love love this collection if you want to see me make anything in particular out of that craft book let me know and I will happily do that for you I will probably do three four maybe five different decorations with this because there are so many different colors in this particular collection I can use it in a lot of different ways, which I'm, I'm really looking forward actually to challenging myself to do a couple of different things. Can't wait to use that blue washi tape. Oh, so excited. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'd love to know if you're looking forward to this collection. Are you going to get the planner in this? Does the writing on the front drive you nuts? I thought it would, but that font is just too pretty. I, mm, damn it, I like that planner. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any. I do try and keep them Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but they do occasionally pop up other days. And if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything. If you want to find me, all my social media links are down below. I do try and answer as many of your questions as I possibly can. Sometimes I'm a bit tardy with it, but I do catch up eventually. Don't forget my competition is still up and running for a giveaway for the Flutterby Planner. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll link it down below. But that competition is still running. So if you would like to enter to win that one, head over to that video and you can check out how you can win. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week and I will see you on Friday. See you later. Bye.